hi everyone uh, uh, in this class i am going to tell you about the tools basic tools which we are, we are going to use in the project okay so the tools which we are going to use is selection tools these are selection tools and we have so many type of selections here is for selecting an image or a color or a region of the document okay so it is in square format and this one is elliptical format okay if you want to get a perfect circle from this point then you should press alt and shift okay then press you will have the circle created in the center okay alt shift now this circle So the center of the circle will be the point where we start. Okay. Otherwise, the circle will be appearing like this. You can shift. You can press the shift to create a perfect circle. It will always be a perfect circle. Okay. If you won't press anything, then it will be like oval shape. Okay. Oval shape. Okay. So this is the main thing. So, if you want to create something on this edge, then you have to press Alt and Alt and Shift to create a perfect circle. So, uh, the other thing I am going to tell you is, if you have select, done a selection like this, okay, and you want to add some more selection, and if you click outside, the previous selection will be gone, okay. So what you have to do is, if you want to add to the selection, then you have to press the shift button, hold it, you will find a plus mark for this cursor, okay. So that you can add more number of selections, okay, you can add. If you press alt to be minus symbol at the cursor, where you separate the selection from the main selection okay okay all these things will be here this one is new selection this one is add selection this one is separate selection and this one is union selection means if you click this thing and if you drag something like this what will be the in common that one only will be remained finally so which is inside the circle okay remains large okay so here we have feather and everything feather should be always it should be zero because if you create a selection with two pixels or something it will be blurred okay if you want to have a sharp edge for your selection then it should, the feather should be always zero okay in this project we will never use feather okay so don't worry about the feather but if you have changed this value for your previous works you better change this thing to zero okay and close the photoshop and restart the photoshop because these values will be changed okay uh, so we have many type of uh, selections okay this one is just a single column line okay and this one will be the single column row okay this will be like a straight line if you, kill, if you fill something inside this thing it will be like a line okay next we have other type of selection this is lasso laser tool with this thing you can freely draw by clicking and holding the mouse and drawing in the whichever shape you want you will have a free hand selection the previous ones are like box square square you have rectangle and square but if you press the shift key you will not uh, you will not have a rectangle okay just a minute 
you will always have a square ok you will always have a square but if you don't press the shift key it will be a rectangle ok next this is the polygonal tool polygonal means it is not a freehand tool just you have to click here just select like a polygonal okay. these are sequence of straight lines if you want to select a curve then you have to click beside each other ok but still it will be like a linear diamond cut uh, curve ok if you watch it clearly if you press ctrl plus you will find that these are like spray tanks ok <coughs> ok don't press uh, until you finish the selection because you have to close this selection anyhow if you go near it then this icon will change here if you press it will be finished ok and uh, while selection you cannot go or jump into other tool until or unless this one is finished ok if you press enter this will be closed from the way it started to end point it will go straight ok see once again so the ending point is here here and the starting point is here you will have a straight line from here to here if I press enter ok next this one is magic uh, lasso uh, it will snap to the color difference ok where you are going just click and drag it will snap automatically and we have more settings for this thing we can talk about these things later the main things you are going to use is this one freehand lasso and the other one is uh, polygonal lasso ok just for selections selection ok pixel selection ok next we are maximum you we are using this tool magic wand this is also for selection this one you use every time maximum you use for in the process of coloring you use magic wand too much you know because here I will show you a document how we are going to get uh, means like uh, the line artwork I am going to show you ok so this is the line artwork we are going to provide for you uh, for this time of uh, coloring so what we are going to do is if you want to select something like you want to select this chair ok then you have to go to the folder called chair ok so you have the system table and you have the folder chair and here you have the line art see always check whether the line it is the layer which contains the lines ok so check this is the line and by clicking on this layer if you go and select this thing and select this thing you will find that the selection it is going to select between the lines if the lines are not closed then you are not going to get the selection ok that will go outside of these lines ok so you have to close all the lines if those are not closed ok there should not be any gap uh, or leakage uh, in closing the lines ok so you can select these things and add color as required for the project ok ok uh, rest, next we have quick selection tools we no need to discuss about this thing only we have to use the magic wand tool ok so next uh, I am going to talk about the eyedropper eyedropper it will pick the color of the scene ok if I going to click that color will come over here this one is foreground color and this one is background color we can discuss about this thing when we are using the brushes ok so for this uh, thing uh, 
I am going to pick this color then that color is going to go into this thing okay if I pick this color it is going to go this thing and if I click on black or gray that one will go into this thing so eyedropper is going to pick up the color where we are uh, pointing and uh, clicking on okay so the color information will be going to this thing and you can paint with the brush wherever you want that color okay the same thing without going to this thing you can click over here and you can pick the color from here and press ok so in this method also you can have the same result okay next uh, we are going to the brush tool okay uh, before going to the brush tool I will end this class because this class is about the uh, selections okay so now I am going to show in the next class about the brush because brush is the main thing for our project okay okay thank you